Hi peeps, Junction 6 here, and as 2023 comes to an end, and we start 2024, I think we should look back on the year, and look forward to what's coming up next year. Well, the year itself, in-game, has been pretty much the standard, hasn't it? We've had new things, we had the seasonal events, with the tier 7 tanks, and tier 8 and tier 9s, which you can never get, but at least you can get a tier 7 every three months. And we've had other events throughout the year, pretty standard stuff. Halloween was a bit of a flop. Christmas, yeah, it was okay. It was a normal stuff, wasn't it? But what's going to happen next year, I wonder? That's what I want to talk about. The things which Wargaming may bring into the game. Obviously, this is all conjecture. I don't know anything. This is just what I think will happen to the game next year. Obviously, we're still going to have loads and loads of gambling and draws for everything. From camos to tanks, you know, they'll be all over your garage, won't they? You know, your garage will look like this, continuously filled with adverts for more gambling and more events. And, yeah, it's just going to be a mess, your garage, for the foreseeable future, that's for sure. One thing I can definitely see coming into the game is these things, these emoji things, you know, which you do at the end of the battle. They'll be selling loads of different ones of these, no doubt about it. You know, these will be for sale in the store. Loads of them throughout the year, no doubt about that. And obviously you're still going to get all the gambling crates. You know, crates to gamble for crates and keys to open boxes which are gambling on other boxes to open to get tanks which you don't really want and... Yeah, it's just going to go on forever, isn't it? Yeah, this is how Wargaming see the game. Basically, I don't even look in the store anymore. I, I just watch Martinator or uh, Littlefinger to see what's in the store. Because it's just pointless. Yeah, there's just so many crates and boxes and stuff. It just mean nothing to me. I just open the free ones and that's it, really. Other things we'll have in the next year, obviously map rotation. Some of the maps will come back, some will go, don't know which ones. Hopefully we'll get another HD map, or one converted to HD. And of course, if you're on the EU server, yeah, you're going to get this. <laughs> yeah, the official language of the EU server is English. Nah, you'll never ever see English anywhere in the EU server ever again. That's for sure. Yeah, even in chat, it's all in Russian. And as you can see, yeah, everywhere. I hope you all got your Christmas gift thing with your tier 5 tank. I got this. Let's open it up and have a look. I got the T25, which is a gold tank, so I can't even sell it for gold. Only for credits. Hmm. I also got a pop-up offer for this tank. Now, I've never seen this tank before. It's a German light tank. Yeah, it's quite a fun little tank. Get the camo and everything for 5,000 gold. Tier 8, I thought that wasn't too bad. But I also got three crates with it. So we open these up. Obviously, these are collect them all containers. So I'm never going to get a tank out of them because I never get anything out of them. So there's two of them open. And on the third one, what do we get? We get a 1,000 gold. So my 5,000 gold was actually 4,000 gold for that tank. So that wasn't bad at all. I did also pick up some more crates from somewhere. Don't even know where. Collect them all. Yet again, absolute rubbish in those. One thing we can't forget about, though, is that the game is a game. It's a tank game. Don't forget to actually play some battles. Yeah, even in the fun modes, it's good fun. Yeah, just play the game. Just...
scrub around all these bloody boxes and adverts to watch and everything else which we have to do before we actually get into actually playing a game. Just play the game, it's so much better for you, isn't it, than opening all those boxes. Yeah, the game's still around, the game's still good. I still enjoy it. And I enjoy watching your guys' replays. So don't forget, keep sending the replays. And I'll keep doing this. And hopefully the channel will keep growing. So, Happy New Year to you all guys. And I'll catch you next year.